All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for vengeance. After what happened last time to our boys, we brought together the new B team with our leader, Cheryl the Bidoo, Magnus the Cricketoon, Carmel of the Bat, Butts the Mime, Tails the Buizel, who is, I guess, the second form of Buizel. I don't remember what it's called. And of course, Piccolo the Metatite, who will be a Metacham in no time. So this is what we're going to do, boys. This is what we're going to do. we got a flying type now, so we're just going to put, put Carmel up front, and we're going to use this to ruin this man's life after I recomplete this puzzle because I can't get to him without doing that first. All right, this time we are sweeping Maylene. I promise, she doesn't stand a chance. Neither does a Lucario, damn it. We're gonna one-shot everything she has. We're ready, we're ready. The team is not completely ludicrously over-leveled, but they're leveled enough to make this a joke or at least a fair fight. How are you alive? Oh, light screen. There we go. If this can work, Medichem might become the savior here. He's not even Medichem yet, but he could become the savior. If he can get a high jump kick off before... Uh, I think light screen should also be wearing off. Okay, good. You bulk up. You can do that. You do that. If they hit high jump kick more than once in a row... Holy shit! What? Are you kidding me? He just one-shot the Nightmare? After he bulked up? How jacked is Piccolo? What? Hell, you can learn whatever you want, my friend. Holy crap. After what this bitch did last time, you just got one-shot by a Metatite with high jump kick. How do you feel? How do you feel? Take that. You deserve death. I am ready for the next gym. It took me so long to grind up my Pokemon. I had to go to the shop, buy some good moves. I did all this, and then you just get high jump kicked, dude. All right, boys, it's time. The rest of this gym was probably the easiest one yet. So we're now going to go and fight the leader, who is some kind of water luchador dude. I have no idea what the hell this guy's supposed to be. I thought he had Litteron to wear on his head when I first walked in over here. But to water gym, uh, my Bidoof has Thunderbolt, which means I'm a Bidoof trainer now. Don't you dare kill my Bidoof, by the way. If you do that, I'll be very upset. So this is Wake. Uh, he's awake, all right. Okay, Gyarados yeah, is going to just get one shot by Thunderbolt. Even if my Bidoof's, like, special attack stat's not that high, it's, you know, four times weakness, bro. There we go. Bidoof taking care of business. Cheryl is the most powerful thing I have right now, and that's not even a joke. Kick him. Right in the face. I thought it was going to be super effective, not going to lie. He didn't. He was going for the kill, which is his mistake. Bikesire's dead. Okay, all right. I don't know what this guy's third Pokemon is. Okay, it's only level 30, too. It's just as weak as, you know, the last gym, actually. He's fast, though. I forgot how fast this guy was. My Fultz was also super fast. Okay, I think this is by far the easiest gym yet. Like, I'm not crazy, right? So, Thunderbolt's got this. Okay, this was the easiest gym yet, dude. This was by far the easiest gym yet. Like, there was no hype for this one. It was just over in a flash, dude. But that's fine. I am happy to have the break after last episode. Jesus Christ, man. All right, that's our fourth badge down, boys. And this video is just getting started, though. Oh, well, we got a Wooper. Uh, I don't need another goddamn water Pokemon, though, but someone will get it. Oh, shit. Boy, came out of nowhere. All right, Rob. All right. Time has come. We're going to ruin Choctopus' life again. That's fine. I have a Bidoof with Thunderbolt. There we go. It's now getting electrocuted by a Bidoof. How do you feel about that? It's not going to be shitting a Psychic. What the fuck? Got you. Why did that work? Is Psychic not good against Grass? We just lost our Mime just like that? Are you kidding me? I'm a bit salty about that one. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit salty about that one. That was for Butts. You son of a bitch. Why would you kill Butts, Choctopus? Why would you do this? Yo? Let's go? Our bat is becoming a Giga Bat? Sick. I didn't think we'd get Crobat so soon. I felt like it was a while away, but I guess we had the Gold Bat longer than I thought? Crobat is one of the best Pokemon in this game. That's amazing. Jesus Christ, I scared the shit. I mean, look at this guy's face, dude. He's horrifying. 
All right, more importantly though, new route, new Pokemon. What you got for me? The hell is that? It's Pac-Man. Dude, Pokeballs in this game are OP. I don't need to weaken it, I don't need to do anything. Just throw the ball and it works. Like, obviously, this thing is Miss Pac-Man, right? Go oh, that's pretty, that should be fun. Okay, so here's here's what we do with the ghost type, right? Here's what we do about ghost types. Actually, Cheryl has bite. We should be, has, has crunch, we should be fine. Let's do it, boys. Ghost gym. Ghost gym, let's get spooky. All right, boys. The gym tried to make us do math, and she's gonna pay for it. She's a ghost type gym leader. Oh ho ho! <laughs> she's a ghost type gym leader, and I have a Bidoof that knows Crunch. We're gonna be just fine, boys. Right? We're gonna be just fine. I'm pretty confident that my Bidoof is going to sweep her. I'm trying to think what other ghost Pokemon there are. Like I've seen like Drift Blooms, Drift Blooms, and Gengars in this gym, and yes, literally Cheryl the Bibarel swept the entire gym by herself with nothing but crunch so it was made pretty goddamn easy and i don't think it's gonna change honestly i'm pretty sure that um we're gonna handle this no problem what does that do i've never seen it before in my life didn't take my special attack away you bitch may as well see just how much damage that did to my crunch it still seems pretty strong it's not what it was oh what all right it's fighting back more than expected but it still went down pretty easily. I didn't one-shot it though, which worries me. I may have miscalculated though because of the level difference here. It might just get decimated. Sludge Bomb? And it's dead. Our newest addition to the team is also the first to die. Fantastic. Absolutely spectacular. I don't know why I even tried to do something else here. Don't you dare die to that poison. Oh! <gasps> All right, it's going to use Sludge Bomb again. Which means I think Carmel is the best bet right now. This got this got a little a little dicey. This got a little dicey faster than I thought. I thought we were gonna one shot everything this thing had. It debuffed my lead Pokemon right off the bat, making things a much harder for me. I'll use Air Cutter. There's no way you're not faster. You're a Crobat. It's still alive. We're gonna use Cross Poison one more time. That should kill it, guaranteed. Okay, Gengar is out of the picture, but I somehow doubt that's her strongest Pokemon, so I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit, a little bit worried. Magical Leaf. Oh no! Holy God, why do you have that? He's gonna use it again. What's resistant to Magical Leaf? You could take a Magical Leaf. Beautiful, beautiful. Yo, let's go! I don't know why it doesn't affect Cheryl, but let's go. Stop confused, that's so annoying, dude. Oh, one shot! Cheryl, the absolute unit of a Bidoof, of Bibarel, the next level of Bidoof. That was fantastic. We lost only one Pokemon, I think. Yeah, we lost Miss Pac-Man, which is unfortunate because she was the newest addition to the team, but we won with only one death. I think that's actually pretty good, though. Not gonna lie, I think that's actually pretty good. We got five badges now. More than halfway there, okay. Really, dude? Just come out of nowhere, and you're like, Hey, someone should see if you're ready for the gym. <laughs> it's me. That's, that's it, that's me. That's my childhood's voice. That's all you got? Come on. Alright, boys, we made it to the next gym, the Steel Gym, and we were bringing with us Piccolo, Magnus, Carmella, Tails, Cheryl, and of course, Shoop, the former Wooper. So, the entire plan here is just for Piccolo to high jump kick everybody, because it's the only good thing I have against Steel types. If we run into some trouble, other Pokemon have Rock Smash, and that's pretty much all we've got, so it's gotta work. It's gotta work, right? Alright, boys, we made it to the gym leader. Uh, as with the rest of the gyms, it was uh, kind of a joke to get here. So what I realized is that water is resistant to steel, so once again, Cheryl the Bibarel, the Bidoof, is the anchor of the team, and is going to carry us through to the end, boys. Let's do it. You can't stop Cheryl. She's the most powerful creature of all time. He's water gone. I wish you had a better water move, man. Die. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. No casualties. This game's only getting easier, boys. We have to strategize a little bit. To strategize a little bit. We did just fine there. A Sneasel, I will happily take a Sneasel. I love Sneasel, he's a beast. And we don't have an Ice type, I guess. So sure, why not? Let's take him. Uh, let's just let's just toss a quick ball at him, see what happens. 
There we go. Okay. What's a good name for a Sneasel? Who's an icy bitch? This is a boy or a girl. We gotta find out. Well, we have to rename him, but we got a Sneasel. And we're in Route 217 now, and I didn't know there was grass here, so let's go. I'm good. A Machoke! Pocky can return! Hey! Quick Ball got him. Let's go. Alright. So, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. He is not Baki. He is... It's Baki's dad. Yujiro's Baki's dad. And if you know what scene I'm gonna play to signify him joining the team, then get ready for it. Alright, now I'm gonna go trade him to my wife and back for a Machoke real quick, so I'll be right back. Alright, are these guys finally gonna actually be a threat, or... Damn, he's thick. That's a thick boy. He's gonna disrupt space and time, I guess? Just one to the other, huh? So this might actually be more dicey than I thought. This is Cyrus, right? Yeah, okay, I forgot his name. Is he gonna be a coward, or is, he, or is it gonna be an honest fight, you know? I haven't been challenged in a while, but... Mars and Saturn were actually harder than I expected. Like, I, I joked that they were trash, but they had some pretty powerful Pokemon. I now know birds can have close combat, which does worry me for Bidoof, it's not, I'm not gonna lie. And we'll go from here. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine because Cyrus was such a bitch an hour ago when I fought him. I don't... Dude, all this, this whole bit with Team Galactic, like, why even make me go to their base? I'm gonna fight them again minutes later. Like, it was the immediate next thing I did was fight them all over again. And that was just like, it just felt like a waste of time, right? Like, am I crazy? It, sound, it, it feels like it was a waste of time. And we're just going to Thunderbolt him again. Teaching this Bidoof Thunderbolt, it's the smartest thing I've ever done, man. I swear. But this should kill it now. Beautiful. All right. Uh, I would like to get my Bidoof out of there. Cheryl has done good work killing the first two, but we may want to switch unless he throws out something else that I can easily handle. It shoots it out of his ass? I realize I've never used Ice Beam with it before. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this amazing animation. He just shoots it right out of his ass. He just farts on him, dude. That's amazing. That is 10 out of 10 content Pokemon team. Nothing but respect and glory for that. I have never been happier. That's amazing. And Cyrus was actually easier than last time. Why was I even remotely worried? Like, why would I not? This is a Nuzlocke. I'm not gonna risk my Pokemon dying to Dialga, right? Right? Of course not. Yeah, so Dialga is obviously 100% cheating to use him. Therefore, he's Game Shark. Just to show that I ain't no bitch, I am not going to use this Dialga. Get the fuck out of my party. I am no pussy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Game Shark. <coughs> Alright, boys, we finally made it. We are at the eighth and final gym, which is what I'm guessing is an electric gym just by looking at it. Um, I have. Earthquake on Yujiro the Machamp, and I think that alone should be enough to carry us, but I don't know what kind of levels to expect here. Oh god, puzzles. Oh no. Alright boys and girls, this is the team we're taking into the next gym. We've got Yujiro the Machamp, our Earthquake Machine, who has decimated the rest of the gym. Carmel the Crobat, who's probably not going to be very useful here, honestly. Uh, Magnus the Cricket, I don't know what he's going to do. These th these guys are water types, and Piccolo is going to... Jump kick him, I guess. All right, let's do it. What's interesting about Volkner? This is the one gym leader I remember, and I feel like that should scare me. I doubt that Barry's gonna stop. Death? We got him. Okay. Bazooka again. Holy shit! He toughed it out so I wouldn't feel sad. That was horrifying. He should be dead, but because he likes me, because he likes me, it's alive. And that is why Magnus is Magneto, the master of magnetism. I think he may also Volt Switch. There's no way he's not faster than me. Iron Tail? Good God, dude. All right, all right, all right. We have our own berry. We have our own berry. That actually helped more than I thought it was going to. Okay. As long as he doesn't crit. As long as it doesn't crit, we should survive it. Okay, he didn't crit. Earthquake. Let's fall. Got you. Oh, you little nutsack. That was the hardest part yet. I'm confident Piccolo's faster. I'm very confident that Piccolo is faster. He has not missed a high jump kick yet. So if he misses this, he dies. If he hits it, I'm pretty sure we win this fight. Drain Punch, I don't think will be enough to kill. High jump kick, I think is. So it's all up to him hitting this high jump kick right now. 
He's faster than me. There's no way he's faster than me. Piccolo, no! I really, really did not think he was faster. This sucks because the only other Pokemon that can outspeed him is Carmella. And if I don't one-shot him, which I don't think I'm going to, this could potentially be a wash because if he, a Volt Switch will kill me. I have to outspeed him. And I have to make sure this kills him. It killed, oh my god, thank you. We lost one Pokemon, and it was one that sucked, dude. Piccolo was clutch, and I could have sworn he would be faster, but it wasn't. He never once missed the high jump kick. He never misses. He don't miss, but damn it, dude. He couldn't go away unscathed from the 8th gym. And that sucks. I was so confident in his speed, too. That sucks. All right, boys, we've just stepped into Victory Road. I turned off the repel. Let's see what it gives us. Let's just see what the first Pokemon is. So Victory Road is usually a spot to get, like, good endgame Pokemon. So I'm hope That's a Graveler. Have we found Ultra Chad? Okay. No! What an asshole! It didn't kill me, but my dreams of getting Ultra Chad have just gone out the window. All right, boys, so we've made it to the Elite Four. I have grinded as much as I was willing to before I got bored out of my mind. This is our final team. If we wipe, we wipe, but goddammit, we, we're going to try. So I've got Carmella the Crobat up first because she's got U-Turn. So she's super duper fast, and if she runs into trouble, she can U-turn out of there. That is exactly why. Then we've got Obama the Obama Snow, who is the newest addition to the team after the sad death of Piccolo. We've got Magnus, who's been here since the beginning. We've got Cheryl, who's been here since the beginning. Yujiro the Machamp, and of course, Tails the, the, the Weasel. This is our team. I don't know how we're going to do. I'm decked out on Hyper Potions, at least. Uh, do they have any PP items? It's the Elite Four. The time has come. Let's do this. I don't want to fight you. This guy, this guy, dude. This guy. I'm here for the Elite Four, not for you. Get out of my way. Hit him with the ass beam. Yeah, you don't like the ass beam, do you? It'll weaken my water move, so, you know, that's something. But it won't affect ice. I'm glad that Choctopus showed up before I went into the Elite Four because I forgot that Machamp's only fighting type move was Dynamic Punch, which is a literal 50-50 shot. But he doesn't miss! Just one shot of Snorlax, dude. That's crazy. Good job, Machamp. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Just don't flinch and we're fine. Crunch doesn't flinch, does it? Am I crazy? Am I crazy thinking that Crunch flinches? Oh my god, that recoil! Holy crap! It's such a good move. And there we go. Aircross is dead. And Choctopus will not bother us again. He's been defeated. Alright boys, I've done all my shopping. I taught Machoke something other than Dynamic Punch. It's time to challenge the Pokemon League. To challenge the Elite Four. Yeah, you check all those badges. Yeah, you check them. I did it. I, I proved it. But one thing I want to do before we actually go into the Elite Four, we have to release the dead. Miss Pac Man, I think you fought once and died a horrible, painful death. And I forgot to hit the, I hit the wrong button. Goodbye. But you were gone too soon. You were a Final Fantasy reference. And it would have been nice to have a fairy type. You will be missed. And lastly, Piccolo, one of the most powerful damn Pokemon I had, just died to some bullshit, and it's gonna really hurt us going into going into this final chapter, because we have an underleveled Barack Obama on our side. But Metachim, he never did once. He never missed the high jump kick, not once. And boys and girls, it's time to challenge the Pokemon League. Let's do it. So this is an Elite Four that I actually do not remember at all. 
I'm pretty sure the first one's a bug trainer, and I know Cynthia is an absolute nightmare. That's about all I've got. So, Aaron. Um, you look like a pretty standard dude. So, a bug catcher grew all the way up, which is crazy to me. Um, I don't expect this to be super hard, but bugs are, you know, their bug types alright. And I'm just kind of hoping we can steamroll them all. And maybe if I have to, I'll teach Aerial Ace or, um, or Fly to Crobat, just in case the PP runs out. If I need to use an Aether, I might. But if those run out, I do have other moves I can teach it just to make sure that we have a flying type advantage here. He's got six Pokemon. Jesus Christ. We didn't one-shot it, which also horrifies me. We got a crit, too, and he didn't one-shot it. Oh, crap. Don't miss this time. Get another crit while you're at it. Did he actually get a third crit in a row? Did he actually? He did! Holy shit! 53 is a little is a little bit high. It's a little bit high. And because he's the first of the Elite Four, that does worry me just a little. Okay, that's fine too. Yes, the first Pokemon was the toughest. That is an interesting angle they took with this one. Another crit. That's four in a row? Is that five in a row? I think that's five in a row. Five back-to-back -back crits in a row. That's awesome. Obama, you should learn Blizzard. Um, Crobat soloing this gym. It's very good. I think it's just going to get a crit every time. It's like the crit rate is so high on the attack. Plus, I have like the claw thing. I have the razor claw, which ups the crit rate. Plus, it likes me. So, it's just getting crit after crit after crit. Crit. We're going to let Yujiro come in here and Earthquake him to death because he should be resistant to Night Slash, yeah. And then, hit him with the Earthquake. Is that going to do a lot? It could have. Uh, I got lucky it didn't. This should kill him instantly. Close. I don't think he's going to use another full restore. I also don't want to waste Earthquake. Unless this gets a crit, he should be fine. <gasps> Fuck! Oh! That's... Not good, dude. He was one of my strongest. God damn it, dude. We have to just move on. We gotta just. I can't believe that happened. We're gonna hit him with U turn again just for the sake of it guaranteed hitting, just because that 5% of air cutter could screw me. But yo, we actually lost him a champ right here at the end. That's not good. Well, we beat him, but he took one of our like most powerful Pokemon with us on a lucky crit, dude. I hate it. Right here at the end of the game, without Machamp, we're going to have some trouble. We are going to have some trouble. I'm very, very salty that we lost Yujiro, the Machamp. Oh, having Earthquake is just such a good thing. And it's just gone now. We've got no Earthquake with the rest of the Elite Four. Are you kidding me? What was that? He one-shot me with a, like, a crazy-ass headbutt? Holy God. There's been some upsets already, and I am feeling less and less likely to succeed at the end here. And feeling like I should have grinded more? Okay, we got the kill, and it survived. Gotta surf it. You got sturdy, don't you, you bitch? Sturdy saved it again? Are you seriously gonna just use... Full restore sturdy, full restore sturdy. You can't use sturdy multiple times. That's nonsense. That is absolute crap. I knew you weren't going to use another one. I knew I was faster. And I knew Crunch wouldn't miss. This is some tense shit, people. Hippodon. This is the only way. That should kill him right now. He's done. Okay, now recoil, don't kill me. Recoil, do not kill me okay okay that was dicey we lost another valued member of the team and i'm horrified for what's next the doof has been my partner in this entire game this is its time to shine i can't believe rapid is faster it's 10 levels lower don't poison me this should one shot it i imagine like there's no reason it shouldn't it didn't one shot are you kidding me you little bitch you are a little bitch boy Steelix, though, still going to take a pretty nasty hit from this, so I'm not sure if that's the right call. He survived because of Sturdy. 
And if I'm guessing correctly, he's going to use another full restore right now. He's very dumb. I can't believe that the star of the show has been a bit doof. It was a meme originally, but right now it's the only thing I have that can like compete. So it's carrying. He's carrying a hard right now. <gasps> no! It's alive! <gasps> oh my god! It got... Cheryl, you are a god! You should be very dead right now. But... Holy crap, the 1 HP survival. If I can get a flinch, that's great. Give me that flinch. Yes! Or just kill it. Or just kill it. Alright. This Crobat and this Bidoof have been the MVPs of this entire, like, run, dude. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. It gave all the evasiveness to Infernape. That's not a good one for me. No! Oh, shit! Crobat was our ace in the hole against most enemies. This might be where it ends, boys. We have to hit this surf or we lose. And he's using close combat. We're done, boys. This is where it ends. We don't even get to fight the gym leader. He's so much faster than me. I don't see... We're done, boys. This is it. This is the end. It's ending on the last... Pokemon, the most recently caught Pokemon in addition to the team. At this point, there's nothing I could do. You're double weak to fire. It's over. We're done, boys. The Nuzlocke has ended in a defeat, and I don't know how to feel about it, man. I thought we'd at least get to the champion, and I don't think even any more grinding would have helped with the team that I had. I just got such a shit hand of types that, like, it was over before it began. We made it far. We got to the third gym leader, and I thought the third gym would actually be the easiest one. But what turned out to be the problem was the Drift Blim was an actual nightmare. So, I think this is where we gotta do it. We gotta go release our boys. This is it, everybody. Some of these Pokemon have been with us since the very beginning. Tails the Floatzel was one of the first Pokemon we caught. He has the ability to shoot ice out of his ass which is his defining characteristic, and it's very funny. Unfortunately, he will not be with us anymore. Obama, the newest addition to the team, was actually one of the stronger Pokemon we had. He held his own in a couple of those fights against the Elite Four at level 50. Underleveled as hell, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. He's got to go. Magnus was another one with us from the beginning. I did not think he would stick around this long, but he just kept surviving, kept doing cool, slashy things, and man, I was sad to see him go. But sadly, he couldn't take out the Drift Blim, and it's over. Yujiro, taken too soon, man. Earthquake against all those fire Pokemon would have been amazing, but unfortunately, he just took a nasty shot early and didn't get to do anything, dude. So, he's also gone. And then the last two, we got Carmella the Crobat. One of the two MVPs of the entire run. Most of my tough times were handled by the amazing speed of this Pokemon. We wouldn't have made it this far without Crobat in the first place. So Carmella, this one's for Castlevania. Pour one out for Carmella. And lastly, Cheryl the Bib Barrel. The fatter Bidoof that has carried us through this entire game with its subpar stats. But goddamn, this thing just ended up being so damn powerful. And I think it could have carried us all the way if it had some speed. But the damn thing was outspeeded by every single Pokemon that the fire guy had. And that was the thing that just ruined everything because I just couldn't attack fast enough to kill any of his Pokemon. So. Unfortunately, we gotta say goodbye to Cheryl, the Bib Barrel. She'll be missed in Morium. And guys, that is it. The Nuzlocke is over, but I will not let it end like this if you guys don't want me to. So, there are enough Pokemon in this box for one last chance. I can grind up Sam, Poison Ivy, Shoop, Luffy, Sneasel, who I forgot to rename. 
Girth and Ultra Chad, along with Harley, I can grind them up for one final attempt on the Elite Four for this Nuzlocke. If you guys want to see that, if you want to see the redemption arc of the redemption arc, I'm going to need to see this video get... I'm going to keep the goal real simple. 500 likes. 500 likes sounds like a lot for my channel, but this is also going to take hours of grinding, so... Got to make it worth my while. Guys, if you enjoyed this Nuzlocke and want to see more videos like it of this quality, subscribe. I'm trying to push YouTube very hard this year, and 2022 is going to be huge for this channel. So, guys, if you want to help me, my goal is very simple. By the end of 2022, I just want to double my subscriber count. Any assistance with that at all means the absolute world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a ride, and if you do want to see that final third attempt with the C team, uh, who I will, if you have a name for the C team, leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear it. I'm very upset this ended in failure. I thought we had a good chance and I don't know what would have happened after we beat Flint. I feel like it was gone too soon, man. We should not have lost that and fuck sucks, dude. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see that next part and I will see you in the next one. Until then, everybody.